Hi everyone and welcome to Quarantine Cricket. For those of you who don't know me, I'm David Payne. I play for Gloucestershire County Cricket Club and the Welsh Fire in the 100 competition. But unfortunately we're going to have to wait till next year to see that. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you all about slow balls. But the first thing I'm going to mention is the great thing about these drills is that you can do them all in your back garden. You don't need to go to your local park or your local cricket club. This is just stuff you can do at home. No need to leave the house. Have fun in your garden with it. So first of all, I've just got a tennis ball. Imagine there's a seam on it or anything. I would start normally when holding the ball. Fingers either side of the seam, seam running down the middle. That's your traditional grip holding the cricket ball. I'm sure you all know that. First slow ball we'll look at is probably an off cutter, easiest one to bowl, probably the one I enjoy bowling most. And simply for that, to practice that, I would just, from the normal grip position, I would just slip my thumb onto the side of the ball like that, I'll show you that again, move the thumb up onto the side of the ball, then you have a nice tight grip, the ball should be really deep in your hand, and you get a really nice tight grip on it. From there, you're just gonna try and bowl the ball as quick as you can, like an off spinner, so for one ball, when you do this, you become a spinner. We're not fast bowlers for this one. You bowl it as fast as you can, still turn your arm over as quick as you can, but you're going to roll your fingers down the side like you're bowling an off spinner. So that would be the first one. Second one we'll look at is the split finger. So again, from your normal grip, all you would do is put your fingers as wide as you can, either side of the ball. This way, you're not going to be able to generate too much pace you can turn your arm over again as quick as you can, but because of the split finger, there's not any fingers behind the ball to generate the pace. So when you, let, when you should let go of the ball, there shouldn't be as much behind it and it'll come out a lot slower. Another one for you to have a go at. Third one, probably quite a, a popular one at the moment, is the knuckleball. Uh, I've been lucky enough to play with AJ Ty the last few years, and he's probably the best I've seen at it. Uh, if I show you the grip, first of all, of when the ball's in your hand, what you're looking to do ideally is these two, your two fingers, your index and your middle finger, you're gonna try and get those two knuckles onto the ball, if you can see that, with your thumb underneath. Now if you can't, if your hands aren't quite big enough to do that, there is another way. If you use your, just your middle knuckle, middle knuckle on the ball, thumb underneath again, and you use the two fingers either side, just to help hold the ball. That's another way you can do it. This is to say, two knuckles on the ball there, that's probably the, the best way to try it if you can, but no problem if your hands aren't big enough yet. Another great thing with this one, what you can practice, is start with just in your hand, but see if you can get it to a point, the more you practice, where as you're running in, as you're about to bowl, you think about how you would load up, so you wanna run in, try and deceive the batsman, try and keep it as normal as you can running in, then when you look to load up, show you from side on, you roll the ball back into your knuckles. So that's why AJ ties so good, that he, you get no cue that he's gonna bowl it, because he runs in, it looks like he's gonna bowl a normal, normal ball, just as he's load, loading up, he rolls it back into his hand like that. Amazing skill, great one for you guys to try at home. And the fourth and final one is the back of the hand slow ball. This one actually requires no grip change whatsoever. So you can just hold the ball like you would if you're gonna bowl a normal delivery. Then, this is simply a case of shoulder, shoulder rotation. So instead of your normal shoulder coming over and the ball being flat out like a normal de delivery, you're just gonna try and turn your arm over and you're gonna release the ball at the back of your hand. This probably is the biggest deception in terms of pace drop. You can get absolutely no pace from bowling out the back of your hand. So it's a fantastic slow ball. You still want your arm to come over as quick as you can. Really crucial point in that. So you're still trying to bowl it as fast as you can. You can turn your hand on it at the last minute. Okay, so there's four different slower balls for you guys to have a go at. Hope you have fun with them. And say, importantly, make sure you're just practicing this in the, in the garden. Check with mum and dad that it's safe for you to do so. Uh, yeah, and have fun with it. This is quarantine cricket.